Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be starting the Wanam Exposed Framework and its app. Basically this tool allows you to modify your ROM uh, in which whatever ways you want. For example, you can change the battery icon to a circle with which shows a percentage. You can make your notification screens background transparent. You can change the icons, change various colors, change the clock position and many other things. Now this tool does require root as well as Cocoa Mode Recovery so before we begin first we need to download the CWM disable zip file which is uh, the framework disabler. Basically if you are stuck in a boot loop you can just go into recovery and flash that zip file to restore your phone. So be sure to download that just in case something happens. Then you need to download the installer APK. I have left a download link in the link in the video description. You can find out the downloads there. So once you download these files to your SD card you begin the procedure. Now simply head into your MyFiles app, then go to your SD card storage and this is where you should find the AP key for the installer, so just install this. It is done, once it is done, choose open. Now from here head into framework and in framework choose install update. And it is done as you can see and it tells you that changes will become active on reboot. So choose OK and now basically reboot your phone. So just hold the power button and select the restart button. Choose OK and the phone should reboot. So to not waste time I'll be back once my phone is on the home screen. And OK so the hard part is done. Once your phone boots up head into the Play Store and look for this app called Wanam Exposed. So as you can see it is free so just tap on install. It should install within seconds. And this is the app which you're going to use to change colors, to change the battery icon as I mentioned earlier and all these sorts of things. Now there is just one last step to do before you are ready to modify your phone. Open up the ex exposed installer, head into models and just make sure to enable this one as you can see like that. Now you may exit this installer app and open up the one I'm exposed. And now from here as you can see you have a lot of choices. You can change the stuff on the notification panel, your walk screen, the sounds, uh, various system things, phone messaging teams, security hacks and advanced. As you can see it has a lot of features, this is an awesome app, so I'm just going to do a few tests here just to show you how it modifies things. So let us for example test some of the options in the notification panel. So I'm just going to open this up and now for example I want to change the clock position. Let's try if using center will change it. So it tells us to reboot to apply the settings. Anyways I'm just going to change a few things around and then we're going to reboot the phone. And I'm also going to change the battery icon. So I'm going to make it a circle battery. You can also change the signal bar counts here as you can see and a lot more things. There is just a lot of settings here as you can see. A lot of changes which you can do to your phone. Then we've got the walk screen. As you can see you can hide the carrier label if, you, if one appears there and so on. A lot of useful things here. For example the system. You can also enable the four ways reboot. Really useful. Okay so we just did these changes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restart the phone once again to see if these changes will apply without any problems. Once again do not waste time. I'll be back once the phone has booted up. And as you can see changes did apply. So I'm just gonna give you a close up here to look at the status bar what I changed here. So as you can see now the clock is in the center and the battery has been changed to a circle which in the center shows the battery percentage. Don't mind the percentage on the left side, I just had that option enabled by the uh, Samsung settings so I can just disable that and I'm only going to have the circle with the percentage in there. The themes category here as you can see has a lot of useful things so you can change a lot of stuff such as the colors of some icons, the colors of the text and so on. So for example I'm going to do a test on the notification background color. For example, I'm going to decrease the opacity a bit to let's say this. So by this I'm making it transparent. Also on the top here I need to enable it and then apply. So once again for the changes to apply you need to reboot. So I'm going to power up my phone once again. 
sorry about that once again I'm going to choose restart and by the way uh, you may have noticed how earlier I said the four way reboot as you can see it now appears here it has reboot uh, reboot into recovery, hot boot and boot into download mode really useful but I just need to choose reboot now once again I'll be back once the phone starts up so we can see the changes and the phone has started up but this time it doesn't seem that the uh, transparency has worked or it's just me who chose the wrong option anyways uh, I'm not really sure if all of the options are working fine with this Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini ROM. It is claimed that this tool is made for the uh, Samsung stock 4.2.2 Jelly Bean ROMs. So yeah, some options may not work here and some I believe might cause you a boot loop or something of that sort. So be careful what you use here and always keep the disable zip file in your SD card in case something happens. So they can, you can just turn off the uh, framework tool. Also, it is recommended that before you even install this, you make an Android backup on your, of your whole ROM. Just to be on the safe side in case something goes wrong, you can at any time restore the backup. So that is all, I hope this video helped you guys, for those of you who are curious if this tool is working with this uh, with this smartphone, it is working as you can see, most of the options seem to be working just fine, at least the ones I tested here. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching everyone, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button, and I promise you, you'll see more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.